Tribute to the late Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rollins, GH1158, retired by the Ghana Armed Forces. The great Desi Mandela said, and I quote, when a man has done what he considers to be his duty to his people and country, he can rest in peace. I believe I have made that effort, and that is therefore why I will sleep for the eternity. Any keen observer, we agree that these words of Nelson Mandela resonate equally with the life of His Excellency Flight Lieutenant J.J. Rawlings, whom we mourn today. The late Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings was commissioned into the Air Branch of the Ghana Air Force as a pilot officer on 25th January 1969 on completion of his basic military training at the Ghana Military Academy. Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings' passion for flying was very evident even as a very young officer, and the route to that realization was challenging. However, by dint of hard work and dedication, he successfully achieved that cherished objective. Indeed, he was adjudged the best graduating cadet and was awarded the much coveted Speedbird Trophy, an award which every flight cadet at the flying training school in Takrade dreams of. His career as an Air Force officer began at the Air Force Base Takradi as a squadron pilot. Over time, he distinguished himself as a fighter pilot, demonstrating his exceptional skills in aerobatics. In addition to flying duties, he was also the base adjutant. From June to December 1970, Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings was posted to the communication squadron of the Air Force Base Accra as a squadron pilot. Subsequently, he was reposted to the number one squadron of the Air Force Base Takradi from December 1970 to January 1971. His passion for precision and adherence to flying procedures, coupled with his dexterity at flying, and him an appointment with the renowned Number 4 Squadron from 1971 to June 1979. He simply loved his job as a pilot. His situational awareness and rare skills with cockpit management and the art of flying were exceptional. He was also known for his love for other machines, especially motorbikes. While in active service, he accepted extra regimental assignments willingly and always executed them to the required standards. He was very firm, fair, and straightforward on his principles, especially when it came to dealing with his subordinates. He exhibited good leadership qualities at the flight lines and at social gatherings. The late former president had an affable personality and his social etiquette were that of an officer and a gentleman. In addition, he was an ardent sportsman, and he particularly loved horse riding and boxing. He served on the Inter-Service Boxing Organizing Committee on a number of occasions, and as the officer in charge of the Ghana Armed Forces boxing team, led it to win several laurels, both at home and abroad. 
His involvement in the political history of Ghana is now legendary and hardly needs any repetition. He had a deep sense of patriotism and nationalism and was very considerate of others, no matter their status in society. His daunting spirit was unbreakable and could never be affected by any challenging tax. He will be remembered as the longest serving head of state of Ghana and the architect of the fourth republic, which has been the most enduring. Most of the current serving personnel of the Ghana Armed Forces never met Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings while he was in active service. They only know him from open sources as a revolutionary and a Democrat who has left an indelible mark on the Ghana Armed Forces and the nation. One little known fact is the amendment of the Armed Forces Regulations on Discipline, in which the trial by a sole commanding officer was replaced by the current disciplinary board. This was implemented by the late president and was informed by his empathy towards his subordinate and his sense of fairness. He was also the brain behind the formation of the 64 Infantry Regiment and the extension of seven years from 18 to 25 years for soldiers until the recent further extension to 30 years. He was once both the Chief of the Defense Staff and the Commander-in-Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces and was honorably released from the service on 14 September 1992. Your Excellency, your sudden departure has robbed the Ghana Armed Forces, the nation, and indeed Africa, of a treasured statesman, compatriot, nationalist, and a pan-Africanist. Your personality accommodated a wide oeuvre, a quintessential lover of flying, a man with an unflappable revolutionary zeal, and an unabashed democrat. You were brilliant, witty with a gift of eloquence, sarcasm, and humor, which came to you without effort or deliberation, thereby drawing crowds to yourself. You have shaped our national destiny, and you can now rest in peace. The words of William Shakespeare in his book, Julius Caesar, sum up the life of our departed president and statesman. Quote, his life was gentle, and the element so mixed in him that nature must stand up and say to all the world, this was a man, unquote. We are consoled that he is lying in the bosom of his maker until we meet again to soldier on in heavenly bliss. This tribute concludes with hymn number 896 of the Methodist hymn book, which says, quote, now praise we great and famous men, the fathers named in story, and who now, as then, reveals in man his glory. Rest in perfect peace. Thank you very much, sir. The bar was it.
you. Burn.